Today's video is on a subject that I am absolutely fascinated by. Um, I'm going to do um, 10 different random facts on uh, contemporary um, astronomy and astrology. Um, there's ancient astrology, there's Native American astrology, there, there's a lot of different um, civilizations and people that believe um, in different things about the stars. They all have very similar stories and similar, similar ideas and similar constellations, but this is um, what we see today. So when you open your newspaper or whatever, this is based, or this is what that is based on. Um, anyway, so one of the 10 facts, 10 random facts. Groups of stars, um, or constellations are groups of stars linked like a connect the dot picture um, to depict mythological animals, characters, and objects. Um, 88 constellations, there are 88 constellations, 40 of the, 48 of them are recorded by Ptolemy in Almagest, Almagest, Almagest it's a book of his, um, in 150 AD. Um, Homer's Odyssey, written in 8 BC, um, actually had some constellations in that book. Um, I think that note is right. I'll double check and then I'll make an annotation if it's wrong. Um, and the next um, fact. Um, 30 constellations can be dated to the Bronze Age, so that's between 1650 and 1050 BC. Um, there are different cons uh, different constellations are visible throughout the year. Um, that's that I don't know if you've ever looked up in the sky. Um, some constellations are visible in the summer, and some constellations are only visible in the winter, and some constellations are visible through or are visible throughout the entire year. Um, so, the constellations appear to rotate counterclockwise in the sky. Um, there are 13 zodiacal constellations. Um, Ophiuchus, 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 I don't know how to say that word, I should have looked it up. Um, it, or the Serpent Bearer is the 13th constellation. Um, not a lot of people know that. And so, there's a 23 and a half degree um, band of sky, and this is called the elliptical plane, and um, the, the zodiac and the sun and the moons and the planet all travel in this 23 and a half degree band of sky. Um, next, um, there are constellation families. There's the Hercules constellation family, and I think there's about 14, if that is correct, or 19, 14 or 19. Uh, constellations in that family. There's Ursa Major family. There's a Perseus family. There's the Orion family. Um, Canis Major is a brightest star. It's uh, Sirius. Or Canis Major is <laughs> the brightest star. Sirius is in is a part of Canis Major. Hope oh, that's right. Um, uh, these oh, these are the three of the biggest constellations. Canis Major has the brightest star, Sirius. Um, Hydra, it takes up 3% of the night sky, and Centaurus is another constellation, has 101 stars in that particular constellation. And uh, another, the last uh, crazy fact about uh, constellations, um, asterism is a pattern of recognizable stars. It's not an actual constellation, it's a pattern of stars. So for example, Orion's Belt, the three stars, and then there's Ursa Major that make and then, so Orion's Belt is part of a constellation, and Ursa Major is part of another constellation. And those patterns of star, patterns of star, patterns of stars in the sky, are called asterisms. Um, I hope this makes sense. Um, thanks for watching. Yesterday's video is going to be here. Tomorrow's video is going to be here. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.